Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to Elite Weather. I am Mr. G, your meteorologist. Thank you for joining me today. And I would like to say happy Valentine's Day and happy Ash Wednesday. Well, I don't know if it's happy, but today is also Ash Wednesday and Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys are having a great day out there today. A great day at work. Everything's going well for you. And I have a weather forecast to present for you guys tomorrow. Now, yesterday we saw the first significant snow across the northeast and along the big cities in the I-95 corridor for the first time in almost three years where we've seen more than an, uh, two or three inches of snow so we finally have that in the books to break that streak of uh, days with no significant, significant snow for at least an inch or more and it was like 700 and something days for uh, New York and Philadelphia, DC. So you finally broke that streak. So congratulations, New York City, for finally picking up some significant snow and welcome to the Winter Club. However, I can say that here in the Twin Cities, we have not joined the Winter Club, even though it's been a little bit cold this week. But not, uh, we're still above average as far as temperatures is concerned, considering the fact that our average high temperature for this time in February is about 26 maybe 27 degrees and with highs in the mid 30s we're doing pretty good all things considered but however we do have a little bit of snow in our forecast later on today this evening and into the overnight hours we're going to pick up about one to three inches from the Alberta Clipper that you see up there on the map that's coming through so we're going to see the Alberta Clipper whiz on through here through tonight and tomorrow morning that guy's going to be crossing out of Wisconsin and into Michigan and eventually it's going to be bringing some snow into you guess it the Northeast again so finally you guys have to pick up another round of snow it's going to be a little bit maybe one to three inches on the high end three inches on the high one on the low so you will have to deal with another round of wintry precipitation as we head into the weekend all right guys so our city of the day is Duluth, Minnesota, the beautiful city of Duluth. There is the uh, right there on Lake Superior, and which is a beautiful city. The wonderful Live Bridge is a great place to go and just hang out, chill, people watch, maybe get something to eat from the Duluth Grill or Granny's or Grandma's. I think it's called Grandma's. And there's a lot of good places to eat in Duluth. Duluth is such a cool little town. So let's move on with the weather forecast. Talk about the atmospheric river that's going to set up in California once again. The heavy rain is back and is going to be uh, coming back with an vengeance. We can see flash flooding again. We can see in excess of five inches of rain in Los Angeles again with the next round of our storms from the atmospheric river. So let's jump into our maps and talk about the forecast for the rest of the country. All right, so now that we finally have had some significant precipitation in the Northeast, at least along I-95, so, you know, New York, DC, Philadelphia, um, up through Connecticut, we finally f have seen some significant snow. Let's talk about the areas that picked up the most snow in the Northeast with that big storm on Monday night and in the Tuesday. So here is a look at the snowfall winters in the Northeast. And I'm going to step here where you can see it. And we're going to be seeing how we saw that 15.7 inches there in West Hartford, Connecticut. Farmington, Connecticut picked up 15.5 inches. So we saw 15 inches in Sussex and 14.5 inches in uh, Pocono Summit. And we saw 13.1 inches in uh, Peekskill, New York. So we saw some areas pick up some fairly some fairly significant amounts of snow with that snowstorm so that is interesting for the northeast but now let's talk about what's going on on the west coast we're going to see tomorrow the atmospheric river uh, bring some more rain onto the california coast so we have a storm system that's going to be primarily that low pressure center it's going to be headed into the pacific northwest but it's going to have a trailing cold front that's going to push through California and down off the southwestern coast there. So we're going to see rain uh, 
um, through central northern California snow in the Sierra Nevada so we're gonna see that rain eventually push into Southern California so there's going to be multiple rounds of moisture that's going to slam into the West Coast and this first storm is going to affect the Northwest all the way down into Southern California where we're going to see rain moving into um, Central California in the Bay Area oh, excuse me I just ate lunch I'm burping Central California the Bay Area and eventually down into Southern California we're going to see that first storm but we have a second storm that's lurking out there a little bit further to the west and that storm is going to also kind of head straight into california it's going to bring that warm front there so we're going to see uh heavy rain and even some thunderstorms possible with that next storm system as well so and we're going to see at least five inches of rain combined from these two weather systems as they uh, make their way onto the coast and this second low is going to kind of hang out there in the background it's going to just sit and spin off the coast of california for a couple of days and send wave after wave after wave of rain from uh, southern california into northern california and more mountain snow in the sierras and the uh, mountains of southern california as well is going to see more of that rainfall so here is that forecast for your yeah, snow forecast for the um, for California there in the um, Sierra Nevada. We're going to be seeing that potential for heavy snow. Now some areas could pick up as much as three or four feet of snow in the highest elevation. So we're going to see the heavy snow and the potential for four feet of snow, and that is going to last into. I left how I left my little symbol right there. So. Um, but that's going to last into uh, as we head through the 21st so we're going to see that potential for four feet or more snow in parts of the cascade mountain not the cascade maybe in the cascades too and the sierra nevada we're going to see that heavy snow but heavy rain is also going to bring the flash flooding to the coastal area so in northwestern california crescent city eureka down through fort bragg uh, Santa Rosa, even into the Bay Area, San Francisco, San Jose, all the way down to Monterey, we're going to see the potential there for flash flooding with that very heavy rain. So we're going to see flash flooding is going to be likely there along the California coastline in Central and Northern California. We're going to see that heavy rain once again. So a strong storm late this weekend into early next week. We're going to see that second storm. That's going to bring heavy rain and high winds and mountain snow uh, through Tuesday. So Sunday through Tuesday, that storm is going to bring the, those winds, that rain and snow. So um, you're going to have to take all precautions to be safe and to make sure that you have supplies. If there's uh, that you're going to be following the uh, any of the advisories from the National Weather Service. And how to you how you should proceed with your weekend activities so please we're going to monitor these storms and monitor the forecast heading through the weekend so that everybody will stay safe and we can protect life and property all right so here's the rainfall that we're expecting across the west coast and this is going to be through the 22nd so we're going to see that rain all the way from San Diego all the way up the coastline all the way up into the Pacific Northwest and it includes the heavy snow in the Sierra Nevada so we're going to be seeing heavy rain we're going to see uh, some areas pick up at least 8 to 12 inches of rain in the foothills of the Southern California area so the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains San Bernardino Mountains the Hatchapi we're going to see the foothills pick up as much as 12 inches of rain that also includes the mountains in the coast ranges in the uh, central california and the mountains along the coastal ranges in the pacific north in the northwestern california and along i-5 where we can see that potential for up to 12 inches of rain so a lot of rainfall is on the way across the state of california and then we're going to still see another round of snow 
in the uh, Great Lakes in the, in the Middle East, the Middle East, the Middle East. Yeah, right. In the Midwest, we're gonna see that round of snow come through, and we're gonna be seeing that through Thursday morning as that snow comes into Michigan and begins to move into the Northeast. But we will see rain through uh, Indiana and through Illinois, and we're gonna see that rain snow mix here across southern. Wisconsin, we can see a rain and snow mix for your folks in Milwaukee, rain in Chicago. But heavier rainfall amounts will be here over South Central Michigan, but we're gonna see that overall light rainfall, maybe anywhere from a tenth of an inch to about a half inch of rain on the heavier side. But in the snow, we're gonna be looking at one to three inches, but some areas in crop um, in Central Michigan pick up, pick up as much as five, maybe six inches of snow it might be enough to warrant a winter storm warning across parts of michigan but here in wisconsin and minnesota we're just going to see a winter weather advisory with this storm system this alberta clipper that's going to be moving through rather quickly okay so um so friday afternoon our storm system here across the midwest will bring here's our second system we're going to see it coming into the Midwest, and that one's going to affect points south of Iowa. So Iowa, Nebraska, down through Missouri, parts of Kansas, central Illinois, Indiana, southern Ohio, and Kentucky, uh, southern Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee as well. But we're going to see mostly rainfall of those locations, but to the north, we'll see that snow central illinois central indiana and and on missouri as well and we're going to see the light snow across southern iowa and northern illinois northern indiana we'll see mostly light snow so a couple weak weather systems will cross across the central plains in the midwest and the upper midwest and then into oh into the ohio valley as well here is the snowfall expectations from the upper Midwest. We're going to see that the heavier snowfall amounts will follow the Dakotas. Pierre, we're going to be looking at five to eight inches, maybe one inch down in Omaha. We're going to see one to three inches in Green Bay, one to three inches here in Minneapolis, St. Paul, about an inch in Detroit, three to five in Syracuse, an inch in Boston, and then an inch down in New York City as well as we have this light to moderate snow and light to moderate rainfall that's going to be moving out of the plains into the midwest the great lakes and eventually trailing off into the northeast and here is our snowfall forecast through sunday and we're going to see that across new england there we're going to see that one inch, one inch of snow in boston glue custard glue Glaucus Caster, Glauca Okay, this place right here in Maine. Oh not yeah. This place right there. <laughs> um let's see, let's think about that. Glauc Alright, we're gonna leave it. Glaucus. Alright, and anyway, I I'm pretty good at spelling. I'm screwing that one up. But Worcester, we're gonna see one to three inches there in central Massachusetts. And we're going to see an inch down here in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, Wallingford, we're going to see one inch. Part of it is I can't see very well, so I'm trying to see what that word say, but I can't really read it. So that, there it is. That's my excuse. All right. And we're going to see an inch of snow down here through um, parts of western Pennsylvania as well. All right, guys. So we have that winter weather. There's going to be another blast of snow across the northeast. Fairly light amounts. Generally, an inch to one to three inches. Three inches on the higher end. An inch, one inch on the lower end. But more people will see an inch or less than those of you will see more than an inch. But there will also be some winds blowing through with this system as well. So a little bit breezy. So we're going to see those winds gusting between 20 and 25 miles per hour for the most part across the northeast and in new england and in the ohio valley in the southern the northern plains as well we're going to see a lot of wind associated with this storm system even though it's a 
light snowfall amounts for the most part, but those winds will also make the storm seem worse than what it actually is. So we'll see a lot of blowing snow because this snow, well, the storm will pick up more moisture as it heads toward the Atlantic side. It'll pick up more moisture. So those snowflakes will be a little bit bigger as opposed to what we're gonna see here in the Midwest where it's not a lot of moisture to work with. So our snow would be more like a powder because it's going to lack a lot of moisture. So that snow is gonna be more powdery. So blowing snow will be more of a factor across the Midwest than it will be in the Northeast because the more moisture to work with, so the snow will have more water content than the snow will here. So, and even if it's windy, that snow will be more packed down because of the fact that it has more water content across the Northeast, so. So, here we're gonna see, as we talk about that, your Valentine's Day forecast today, here in Minneapolis, you see that 35 degrees, there's gonna be our temperature at seven o'clock p.m. 35, which is about 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. And we're gonna see that 35 down there in Sioux Falls, but check out the light snow that's gonna be going through at the time. So we're expecting that snowfall to be underway here in the Twin Cities at about seven o'clock tonight. We'll see that snow underway. And we're gonna also see that next storm system begin to affect the Northwest in California. And that's going to happen today too, but we're going to see that uh, that snow in the Cascade mountain range began, and we're going to see that rain. So uh, Portland is going to see a dry day today with a high of 39 degrees or 48 down in Redding, but you're going to see rain showers work into your area, 52 in San Francisco under cloudy skies. But those rain showers will begin to work into your area in the overnight hours tonight. You're going to see those rain showers move into San Francisco. And then as we head through the uh, 7 o'clock tonight, we're going to see those rain showers in San Francisco, snow in the Sierra Nevada, and we're going to see rain in Redding. We're going to finally see that rain in Portland. Like I said, that rain is going to be uh, moving in there in the evening hours tonight. 7 o'clock Pacific time. We see that rain uh, moving on to the coastal areas. Snow in the mountains. We're going to start to see snow all the way into Idaho and Montana and Wyoming as well. So we're going to start to see that snow start to spread inland and eastward. And then as we get into your Sunday, here's that second storm that's going to bring that rain into California. So we're going to see the heavy rain down into Southern California. So you can see that, that cold front bringing that rain into Los Angeles, Central California, snow in the Sierra Nevada. We're gonna see snow across the state of Nevada. We're gonna see snow over Idaho, uh, snow all the way up into Washington and Oregon. We're gonna see that rainfall in Washington and Oregon as well. And we'll see rain in Central Northern California, rain in San Francisco, San, San Jose, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Los Angeles, and Orange County. I think San Diego will get some rain, but not that much this time like they got the last time. I think San Diego will get a little bit less this time like they always typically do. They typically get less. Here's your precipitation forecast for Monday on the West Coast. And I think we're gonna see <laughs> that rain, that storm continue to batter Southern California. Like I said, it's going to stall. It's going to stall out here. The low pressure center is going to be just off the coast. It's going to sit and spin for a day or two. Maybe we're going to see a, a stationary system. So we're going to see that rain stall like it did the last round where it lasted a couple of days. We're going to see that potentially again with this storm system Sunday and into Monday. We're going to see that rain from the atmospheric river just continue to flow into Southern California. So we're going to see a lot more flooding, a lot more, uh, probably some more dramatic video coming from California where we're going to have mudslides. You know, typically what happens is a lot of homes are built on hillsides and the heavy rain, those hillsides collapse, they give way, those homes slide down the hill and crash down the mountains. 
So was to probably see more video of that because that happens a lot when it rains for real in California. I would think that if it rained more in California, you really wouldn't have homes built like that, or maybe something would be different to where you could secure the hail side. But because they don't get very much rain, it's not something people worry about too much. But when it happens, it's like, whoa, check this out, you know. But here again, uh, Tuesday, that rain is going to continue, but we have another area of low pressure that's going to form off the coast of Southern California, and that low is going to uh, play a role in the weather across the Southern Plains and the Southeast as we head through uh, next week. So we're going to keep an eye on all of this stuff and how it relates to what's going to happen across the country later in the week. Here is the rain and snow outlook for the next seven days. So we're going to be seeing that potential where we're going to see that heavy rain here across California and we'll see heavy snow up in the mountains. So over the next seven days, it's going to be very wet across the western half of the United States. We see a lot of snow in the Rockies, a lot of snow in Sierra Nevada, some snow in the Cascades because there's a lot of rain from the Canadian border down to the Mexican border. There's going to be a lot of rain. California, Oregon, Washington, we'll see a lot of snow in Nevada, um, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. We're going to see heavy snow in the mountains and heavy rain down in the lower elevations and in the valleys. We're going to see a lot of flash flooding and even some thunderstorms might even be possible as well. Okay, so here's Florida. So we got Florida. You know that Florida is no longer, this year, Florida has not been considered the sunshine state. Florida has had 84 cloudy and rainy days this winter or the, since September. We've had 84 days of cloud cover in Florida because we've had a lot of rain in Florida. So we're going to see again a cold front that's going to be on Sunday. Is going to drop through Florida. See, this is the same associated with the same weather system that's bringing the snow and stuff to the Midwest and the Northeast. But the tail end of that front, we're going to see that front here across the state of Florida. And that's going to bring heavy rain and thunderstorms across Florida on Sunday. And again, Sunday night. We're still going to see more heavy rain and thunderstorms across central and southern Florida. And then we're going to see things begin to taper off as we head into your day on Monday. So Monday morning might be a few showers along the east eastern coast of Florida. So we're talking like like there right there. It's like, like Pompano Beach and uh, Cape Canaveral, those areas, central Florida. We'll see uh, things begin to dry out in those rain showers move off to the east out over the Atlantic and over the Bahamas okay here's the rainfall expectations that we are thinking about through Monday across the state of Florida so basically one to two inches for most areas but if you are in the Florida panhandle you can pick up about a half inch of rain and that's going to be through Sunday through Monday okay and that is the weather forecast for your day today guys have a great uh, pseudo holiday uh, Valentine's Day have a good Ash Wednesday some folks some churches do have Ash Wednesday I know my church has an Ash Wednesday service so some folks might go to church today and uh, you do um, the weather is cooperative and uh, everything goes well for you but thank you for watching you leave your likes comments and subscribe to me on TikTok and you can follow, okay, follow on TikTok, subscribe on YouTube, likes, comments, everything's welcome. Have a great day, great day, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.